Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the second stage of a project management. That is a project planning guys. So whenever you are deciding to do something, planning is one of the most crucial step guys, if you ask me. Because here only you will be getting a clear idea that what you need to accomplish in how many days or what is the deadline for those things. So you'll be getting a clear idea or the clear picture of the whole thing, right? Yes. So project planning is a part of project management which related to the user of a use of a schedules so such as a gang chart guys will be discussing about this gang chart in detail with an example so don't worry okay so we will be using such a schedules like a gang chart to plan and subsequently report the progress with project management so basically in project management also we will be using this gang charts guys okay so the basic use of gang chart is nothing but it is a tool guys through which you can identify or you can write down clearly that each task will take how much time and according to you only okay yes so basically it is a scheduling thing you can say like how we use calendars or you can you use some other applications right in your workspace so it's also similar to that okay yes okay so gang chart so gang chart is a principal tool used in scheduling it was developed by henry gant it is not gang guys it is gant i'll be pronouncing it as gang only sorry for that okay so gang chart so from his name he derived the name guys in 19 hundreds around 1900s okay yes so it is a pictorial representation showing the various jobs to be done in the particular amount of time or money involved in dealing with complex tasks okay so here we are having two different axes guys the x-axis and the y-axis it is a 2d graph you can say here we will be having the x-axis always specifying the weeks day month with respect to time and if it is in money it might be in rupees dollars or million dollars or thousand dollars or hundred dollars like that in that way in that way also you can write and on y-axis you will be having the activities commonly we will be writing with respect to time and activities only guys okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea right yes okay so let us go through an example so this is just an example which i took from a book guys so that is the reason why the example was also a bit funny so that's the reason why i took it directly okay yes so draw a gang chart for the following okay so he gave the example of a guy going to a interview campus interview after his engineering okay yes so initially the first step is nothing but he should collect his final year batch btech profile so basically it might be a mark sheet or anything he need to collect it from the college okay so he is saying that it would it could take two weeks to collect it okay after that he should print that profile and he is asking for one week time okay after that he is contacting the potential employee so basically he is contacting with the company for the interview okay so that could take five weeks and at the end he will be fixing the interview date so basically he will be requesting the interviewers or the company to assign a date for him in, a spe in his specific times so in it will take two weeks to assign it okay so after that he will be preparing for the interview for four weeks okay so after that he will be doing giving the interview so in this way so these are some steps right so here we are having some particular task with the time task with time task with time task with time right yes so these kind of things can be represented in gang chart really easily guys okay so on y-axis you will be writing the statement or the activity okay and on y-axis you will be writing the intervals of time guys so here we took weeks and i took an interval of two weeks guys so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen right yes so let us start so initially what he will be doing for two weeks he'll be collecting the first thing so okay so in first thing i have drawn a bar so this bar indicates that this activity is going to continue this many weeks that is two weeks similarly the second activity he told he will be printing his profile for a single week okay so it will be drawn in this way so you will be drawing it in this way guys yeah right so I hope everyone got a clear idea. So basically whenever you are doing any major project or mini project also, your faculty will also ask for these kind of gang charts guys. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea on this. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing with about the most important topic that is nothing but network analysis guys. Yes. Before going into problems, you need to have a clear idea that why we are solving those problems, right? Yes. So that is what we'll be discussing and various terminology we'll be discussing in our next lecture guys. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.